Hello, this is Sam Drinks Beer, and this is a beer review. So the beer we're reviewing today is this. It is Empress Tom Coco, Heaven Hill Barrel Aged Edition from Brew York, a brewery that is local to me. And basically Empress Tom Coco, the normal version, is basically a souped up version of the Imperial Tom Coco, which is already a souped up version of the standard Tom Coco. I've, every year Brew York re release a Barrel Aged Edition. This year they've done one in Heaven Hill Bourbon and and the other one was oh, Buffalo Trace, I think. The other one, the previous years, I believe they've done it in Jack Daniels and uh, Wild Turkey. So it's a yearly release. Yeah, I've never actually had either of the previous releases. I've had the, obviously had the standard Empress Tom Coco, I've had the standard Tom Coco and Imperial Tom Coco, and they're all great beers. So I'm excited, really excited to try this one. I've also got the Buffalo Trace one in the fridge, but basically as 50-50 I chose this one, so let's crack it open and see how it looks. So the pores very dark, very little head retention as it goes into glass. Seems to be a bit of sort of quite a bit of carbonation. You can smell the bourbon right off the bat actually as it pours into the glass but yeah look at that beautiful so yeah you can really sort of smell the bourbon you can there's a lot of coconut as well a bit of bit of chocolate on the nose So it's sort of the usual sort of flavours and well scents rather you'd find in a Brew York standard Tom Coco offerings and Empress Tom Coco and Imperial Tom Coco. But just with that ed added bourbony sort of complexity. So I suppose the next thing to do is give it a sip. Oh well, wow, that's boozy. Yeah, you can, I have to say, the uh, bourbon is much stronger in the flavour than I expected, because you usually on the, the sort of bourbon barrel-aged stouts, the kind of, there's a little bit there, but it's not overly strong. It's quite powerful on this, but... Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can still taste the coconut and the usual coconut chocolate and sort of tonka beans, but with a lot more sort of booziness. Yeah, it, it lets you, the ABV does let you, 10.6% ABV does let you know it's there. Um, That's for sure. got a bit of sort of like a bitterness to it as well sort of a, I don't know if that's sort of coming from the bourbon but there, yeah there's just kind of a real sort of lingering bitterness on the finish but it's really warming actually it's like kind of like drinking bourbon in that sense proper suits this time of year for sure on a nice dreary rainy February Saturday afternoon Now, Brew York have sort of been experimenting a little bit with sort of barrel-aged beers 
over the years, but you know they've obviously recently started doing the State of Mind series as well. They've got uh, they had a I had the Barrel Age Cherry Tongue open that was incredible. Had that a few months ago as part of the subscription box, and I think there's a uh, another one, Mockerman Randy Savage. I think Barrel Age version of that coming soon as well in the next subscription box. So I'm really looking forward to that, but because I um, I do love a Barrel Age stout just for the sort of richness, the complexity, and the sort of flavours that bring out. Yeah, it's, I think the real, the Tonkin that beans really sort of come through with each, a bit more of each sip and sort of get that sort of coffee bitterness with, along with, and with the chocolate and the coconut. I mean, it's completely different. I mean, other than the obviously the similar flavour notes, it's you know it's a lot different to the standard Empress Ton Cocoa, which was just a sort of a amplified Imperial Ton Cocoa, really, with in terms of flavours. You know, the, the, the Heaven Hill Bourbons really added a touch. I'll be interested to see. I mean, I do like my whiskies as well as my beers, so I'll be interested to see how different the uh, Buffalo Trace one is, which I do have in the fridge. Um, but yeah, this is, um, yeah, it's really good actually. Once you sort of, it takes you a few sips to sort of get into it because it, you know, it's a the sort of booziness is quite harsh really, but once you sort of get used to that, the sort of the flavours of the sort of bourbon barrel ageing and the coconut tonka and chocolate sort of sort of really come into their own so yeah this is a, this is excellent i mean i wouldn't expect any less from brew york i think they're a fantastic brewery and i'm not just saying that because they're local to me but i'm obviously a massive fan of them um so yeah i think i also really love the uh can art as well as as with all their beers seem to have a sort of a sort of see as a fish and a cow i think I'm not sure. I don't know if it's I don't know, sort of the fish kind of looks sort of, sort of like something sort of Japanese. Sort of. I'm not sure what the art's referencing, but possibly the Heaven Hill Bourbon brand. I'm not really aware of them, so maybe it's something to do with them. I do like about brew yacht beers is they do have like a sort of a brew sheet on the back sort of a bit of detail about the year it says brewed and released just once a year in the barrel age empress ton coco spends 12 months in a unique selection of bourbon barrels each year heaven hill barrels are used for this year which brings the <laughs> for the first time the bourbon depth and smoothness brings added complexity balance to an already sublime beer look out for the buffalo trace barrel age version returns to 2021 as the favorite from last year's release the hops used columbus has a uh, malt, pale, flake barley, light crystal, dark crystal, chocolate, cara red, roasted barley. And yeah, obviously the adjuncts of the coconut, lactose, vanilla. So yeah, to score this up, you know, it's got a great nose, great sort of body to it, which I haven't really touched upon really, you know, a real robust, you know, sh thick body. Um, It's got complex flavors it you know it's it, you know it's got a real great sort of booziness to it which i really do like it's sort of you know i like i like a bit of a kick in my uh sort of in my barrel age sort of bourbon stouts um which just definitely ticks the box it's you know it's it tastes beautiful to be honest with you it if to rate it on a sort of untapped scale, it'd probably be pretty close to a five, you know, maybe a 4.9 out of five. You know, you don't wanna, I am probably a bit too generous in my scores really on untapped. I do give a lot of fives out, but yeah, this one's definitely deserved it. It's fantastic. So yeah, I, let's say a five out of five on untapped. It's incredible. Yeah, cheers.